Alright, well, it looks like now that this mission's completed, we will be able to make our way right back to the distribu distribution center back in Late Knot City. Let alone, let's see what else we got to learn about the For briefing. For this run, you'll be carrying two prototypes, a vehicle motor and a backpack pouch. All the way to Lake Knot City's Southern Distro Center. They're the works of a certain junk dealer and his artist lady friend. Since these are both prototypes, they're not cleared for chiral printing. Not until Bridges has evaluated their potential. Can't help but appreciate the desire to help out. Who knows? Maybe you'll end up using their gear in the field. So already I'm getting the benefits of their equipment now that I've got them to the chiral network. They're submitting prototype equipment that I will probably be able to use later down the line. So there's already a benefit to getting them on the network. And top it off, I'm getting stun bombs and a you can speed use those skeleton. Darlings to stun your enemies and give yourself some breathing room. Just equip and toss. They'll trigger on contact. They deliver a shock that should incapacitate every living thing within the blast radius. Living only, though. They won't do you any good against BTs. That's still pretty useful, and it also says it will be effective on a wider area of discharge near water. So, taking this to the fight on the water will be helpful. Top it off, this whole area right here, you can already see. Uh, anything that's in that kind of like goldish thing, like goldish arena, I've noticed, is areas where mules are heavily concentrated at. So, as soon as I move into this area, I'm going to probably be on the network and then they'll be able to spot me. So, I'm probably going to want a couple of these, maybe at least one. Uh, I don't know how many come into uh, like a cartridge, but I'd imagine it's five, just like the hematic grenades are. So we'll get a couple of those. Um, I've already got an anti-BT uh, BT gun. I've also got a couple bolas, so I can make use of that. And I'm already rocking the, uh, the, the carrier, so I should be fine with that for now. Um, I'm probably going to want one. I oh, know I already got one of those, so I'm, I'm good to go at this point. And we will load the rest of this on the carrier. And load that on the carrier as well. There's a good chance that I may as well just load everything on my back. Um, depending on how things play out. We'll put that in the uh, in the private storage along with the ceramics as well. Um, yeah, there's a good possibility I might carry everything on my back. Considering I've got my bike up and op operational at this point. So let's go ahead and put this stuff on my bike for now. Um, well, I suppose we're not going to put it on my bike. What we're going to do is that we're going to lay down my PCC next to my bike and then uh, see what I can distribute weight across accordingly. Um, take a look at what I can pull from here. Get that PCC on my back. And we will fabricate this piece of equipment. And we need a, a generator. We're going to put this generator... No can do, Sam. Structures there. can't be built that close together. Well, it's not close enough. You'll need to settle for a different spot outside the sensor ring. All right, yada yada yada. Keep your hand on, man. Um, okay, so we're gonna move. This stuff is still pretty fragile for the most part, and I need to put it on. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna put this on the bike. Next, we're gonna put the bullet gun. And the speed skeleton on my back. Along with basically everything else. We're going to put everything on my back. Including the floating cargo. And we're good to go. So basically the only thing that will be on my bike is the uh, stuff that I need to deliver. Unfortunately since this bike has been sa sat here with no energy. It's been taking constant rainfall damage. So it's in pretty bad condition by the looks of it. I make one false move, this thing explodes on me. So I gotta take good care of it on the way back. Hopefully, I can do this without any trouble. We'll find out in a moment.
Now that we've arrived at the distro center, we should be able to drop off these, uh, these prototype equipment found all in on this bike. This bike also needs to retire badly. So, you will see what happens. I'll make a delivery. And we will deliver both these prototypes. No problem at all. No damage at all. And I should build my connection up. And I've got my access to the backpack customization. We knew that was eventually going to be opening up at a certain point. After we read that uh, that bit of mail. Um, Thomas Sutherland has provided the following vehicle color data. Uh, I can now customize colors now. And I've got a whole bunch of supplies available now. So that'll help. That'll especially help with building the freeway. I need it. I need a lot of supplies to build that freeway. Able to drop off a premium delivery. Um, yeah, this went smoothly. So, here's stuff you brought: motor and a pouch. They're not like our usual supplies. New designs, like you heard. I think a joke dealer made this. I heard he was a pro, but even so, it's impressive work. I'll notify HQ and try to expedite evaluations. Oh, cutscene time. Hey, just got the evaluation results from the people at the distro center for those prototypes you dropped off. Looks like both caught their eyes. The motor, for one, was impressive. They really couldn't believe it was made from scrap. It can be fitted to a modified truck and be ready to go in no time. They contracted the junk dealer straight away and got it added to the list of supplies that can be fabricated. Oh, so right now I can already access they it. They had good things to say about the pouch, too. Contract has already been made, and you'll find the pouch in your private room. I'm guessing that's the if customization with my backpack. backpack. You'll need to drop by one anyway. Anyway, I hope you appreciate what those two did for you, and give this new gear a try. Okay. New order we got a brand new order available. Okay. But I got something waiting for me in my private rooms right now. As you can see, there's an exclamation point. Let's go f check out what's going on over there real quick. For generosity. Sam, don't know if you're aware, but you can customize your pack in your private room. Why not give it a try? Alright. Uh, customize our backpack. Let's see where that goes. Uh, okay, equipment. Uh, fabricate attachments. I can make a grenade pouch, a pouch for carrying grenades. Frees up your space on your back, allowing you to carry more cargo. Also protects its content from time fall and impact. Multiple grenade pouches can be equipped at once. Be aware if the pouches is removed from your backpack, the contents will be transferred to your private locker. And the extra battery will increase the amount of battery available for the active skeletons. All right. Holy shit, that takes up a lot of room. Oh, wow, you can move things around. Grenade pouch. That is sick. That is so cool. All right, so let's start with um, fitting the battery at the like the bottom left. That seems to be the best spot for it. Extra battery. Um, can I move? Can I rotate this? Yep. We'll uh, do this. I wonder. Can I... Move it a little bit more. No, that's as far as up and that's as much as I can go to the corner. Um, but it does cost me some resources by the looks of it. That is something I gotta keep in mind. So one extra battery. Plus a handful of grenade pouches. Probably could have made more space than that. But let's see what I can do here in a moment. Move. 
I rotate it upward? No. Um, there's got to be a better way to organize this stuff. Yeah, it looks like no matter what, I'm going to be missing one spot here. No way around that. But accessories. I can put on a whirlwind. Or a, whir uh, a uh, windmill. A little windmill. BB, uh, BBs are particularly fond of this accessory. It seems to improve their mood and help prevent them from becoming stressed. That's good to know that there's attachments that actually like have an effect on things. Um, I can change the color scheme too. Get black, brown. Uh, I can get really eccentric with the colors even. Keep it... Uh, go black no let's go uh let's go white i just want to see how it goes for now all right that was fun that's cool that's a cool little mechanic i like that that's a lot of fun um may as well while we're in here do our biz our showers our cleaning get get all those uh uh norman booty in that uh in those vials you get those Norman booties in those vials. I can use them against uh, all those BTs. They're not a big fan of the booty. I know. I know. Uh, may as well stock up on piss, too. And I got ten of those. Holy smokes. All right, then. And let's see if shitting does anything at all. Oh, got a new weapon. The latest in our line of EX grenades. I give you the number two. As you may have surmised, this model was produced with various extracts refined from your fecal matter. <laughs> we suspect that your regular consumption of cryptobiotes has led you to excrete certain compounds that may prove especially effective against BTs. If you would like us to produce more, you need only furnish us with the requisite raw materials via your private room's toilet. I look forward to your feedback. So, we get grenade zero from showering. We get a grenade number one from peeing. And grenade number two from shitting. Now, if that ain't some form of uh, coded language, I don't know what is. Uh, may as well eat some more crypto bios then. That's what produces these guys. So it's in my best interest to eat, drink, uh, and I will be able to produce more of those kinds of weaponry against the BTs. Those things still creep me out. I don't like that. And the way he just eats them all casually. Yeah. <clears throat> Freaky. And now, um, for standard orders, all the same stuff. But I gotta go back to Lake Knot City, and I also need to stop at a cosplayer by the sounds of it. Uh, what's going on with Lake Knot City? Sam, got a critical request. A shipment of experimental weapons has just been stolen by mules. They were scheduled to be delivered to Lake Knot City, but got picked off en route. The mules loaded them into their own vehicle and fled before help could arrive. And while we don't know their exact location based on eyewitness accounts, we've managed to narrow it to a small area. Track them down secure the weapons, and deliver them to Lake Knot. Now, the good thing is I got stun grenades, and I also got my bolas, so I can deal with those guys. But, the way I'm seeing this going about is that I'm probably going to need to stop at the cosplayer, double back, hit this hit this area, and steal back what they took from us, and then bring it back to Lake Knot City. So, let's do both of those. The sticky gun is a weapon that launches an adhesive projectile. Gun and projectile are connected by a wire which can be engaged to pull in targets. It's strong, too. Could support up to several dozen mules. You can use it to secure cargo at a distance. Right out from under a mule's nose, maybe. Huh. You're a clever guy, so... I'm sure you can think up a few other applications. Just comes down to how creative you can get. A sticky gun fires adhesive rounds that connect uh, to a wire that sticks to a piece of cargo, allowing them to be reeled in. Cargo reeled in this way can be caught in mid-air in order to avoid damage. The effectiveness of the adhesive will deteriorate as time passes until eventually the round can no longer be used. When aimed, it will automatically lock onto the cargo within range. 
has no effects on BTs or human targets. Beware the ad adhesive rounds are not replenished in your private rooms. Now this is an interesting piece of tool. All right. May as well get a couple ones. And we have yet to experiment with the number two yet. And I'm thinking I'm going to need a couple of these in my utility bags. Put these back in the private locker. Now that said, I am carrying a bit too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the climbing anchor, uh, the speed skeleton, and let's see here. And the container sprays. At least one of the container sprays. Onto the bike. Next, the sewing kits. That needs to go to the cosplay. That's going to go on the bike as well. I have to abandon the bike. I'll still have the, uh, the cargo loader that I can use. We'll see how that plans out. An order. Delivery for a prepper. Sam, I have a delivery request for you. There's a prepper who got a special talent. Calls herself... Uh, a cosplayer and apparently dresses up to damn near anyone and anything. There's no better, there's no one better when it comes to designing, making clothes, and accessory. But she needs a new sewing kit in order to finish her current project. Would you be, would you find and would you find one and deliver it to her? I'm pretty sure it's something interesting for you in return. Thanks, lots. Got it. That's what I'm doing right now. I can paint a BT picture. This is from the engineer. Uh, I may be an engineer by trade, but I'm not half bad at painting either, you know. With pens and brushes and all that, learning it all from my mother. The right tools and enough, I can faithfully recreate what I see on paper, and whatever uh, elaborate vistas I can envision with my mind's eye. Which got me thinking, what if I could make a picture of a BT? Uh, I believe what makes them so terrifying is, terrifying is that we don't know what they look like. So if someone with dooms could describe what you saw, I could give words shape and color. And maybe we could be less afraid. I might be able to be able enough to coax a few shut-ins outside for a bit. Um, but we if we can't change them, I know you've changed me. Thanks for everything. Sam, don't be a stranger. Okay. All right. Well, to the director. Come on, climb, 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 climb. Oh god, I'm stuck. No! Oh, this is bad. Uh, let's first deal with BB. Soothe. Come on, chill. Chill, babes. Chill, babes. Everything's fine. The world's okay. Nothing's gone wrong. Everything's okay. But I need you to chill out. Okay. Time to go. Alright, I did lose them. I don't know how badly damaged my cargo is, though. It actually didn't take too much damage at all. Surprisingly. Okay. That's within acceptable range. But my bike took a beating. I have no idea where this goes now. This this one <laughs> hell in a handbasket quick. Oh shit. I don't even have a ladder.
Oh man, what am I gonna do? All right, well, we'll navigate around. I'm not even sure if I can get this bike out of here. Oh, I found a ladder. Speak of the devil. Unfortunately, I gotta deal with this guy now. I got him taken care of. Alright, I got a ladder at least. So if I need to abandon the bike, that's an option. And no way around this. I have to carry everything on my back. everything. Next, the ladder. Hurry it up. Come on. There you go. I gotta get out of here quickly before they find me. Man, all that weight to the front. You see that? That's ridiculous. Make sure I grabbed the anchor while I was at it, but at this point, I don't even know where I'm going. Just gonna fall the crevice, I guess. My boots aren't doing too well either. So, let's go ahead and change for a different pair. There we go. Let's go with a different pair of boots. Looks like I arrived. Quite the path I had to get here. I had to, I had to abandon my bike, and I just, just got it fixed. What thing fell off? That thing fell off. Wow. I guess it's too. <laughs> my package, my uh, my backpack package is gonna get so big it starts falling off things now. Great. Even when I go inside these buildings now, they'll start falling off. One thing is they're not, like in a tent, but it's a whole other thing when it's like actual buildings that I need to go in and bring the shit into. I gotta be mindful of that now because if I'm carrying fragile stuff on the back, it can, it can fall off and break. I told myself there were bound to be a few scratches, but looks like I was wrong. Okay. I mean, there was a few scratches, but I guess it's more than within the acceptable range. Probably got an S rank? Yeah. I thought it would get a lot more damage than that after falling off the ledge like that. But I'm guessing most of the damage was transferred on the bike. Which I'm a little surprised about. Can you make it official? Whenever I mention your name to my partner, he gets all excited and starts talking about how much he wants to mate you. He's pretty interested in the chiral network too. Totally on board with it and everything. But... I'm still having trouble wrapping my head around it. I guess what I'm saying is that I'm okay with trying it out, just without any of the extra strings, if that's an option. So get her... If it is, then would you mind doing the honors? So we can get her connected to the network, but she won't part be part of the UCA. I need to do side missions in order to get her going, which we'll probably do off screen. I'm sure I'll get benefits for that at some point.
hey, we got more bandwidth now. More bandwidth, the more I can build. Hey, Sam. Sam Bridges. Uh, welcome to our summer home by the fall. The Wandering MC. Uh -oh. Well, thanks for making the trip. I've always wanted to meet you. I know what you're thinking. Is that an otter on my head? Yeah. Or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> well, both. Actually, the otter's a member of the weasel family. I have weasels in my family, but enough about my brother. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Man, you are tough. <laughs> hey, did you know that otters can survive without land? Oh, yeah. They eat, sleep, even give birth all in the water. The only thing they can't do in the water is drown. <laughs> Such good swim. swim <laughs> this is so awkward. It's cringy. Uh, okay. Wow. You laugh about as much as this guy. He's still going. He won't stop. By the way, you should have this. It'll help you on your way. I don't know why, but you look so familiar. Yeah, don't worry about me. I've got an otter one. <laughs> Come on. Come on, otter one? That's pretty good. I mean, it's kind of good. Oh, man, you're the only audience I've had in like 12 years. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. I got an otter hat. What's that going to even do for me, really? Outside looking cute. Surprised he even took it. She gave you an otter hat. Cosplayer wishes to express her gratitude. Token of gratitude. Oh my god! Was threaded by the hand of my cosplay partner. It's fucking Conan! And she's amazing. It's triple stitched. That's got silk. She's incredible. Wear it and you too can ride the river rapids without fear. <laughs> Unless you're afraid of looking too sexy. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> that was really? hilarious. Still nothing? You know what? Fine. Just go. Oh, Just don't be go. like that. Okay. And make the river your friend. That'll be fun. <laughs> oh, that, that's actually good fun. I like that. Anything else? Okay, this goes to the artist. This goes back to the distribution center. I suppose I may as well take this to the distribution center. No, I got a huge... Um, if, I, if I can handle the crew here, I can probably bring this back to the distro center then. After I pick this up, I gotta go way back to Lake Knot City. So, let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm up for the challenge. It's a lot to carry, sure. But I think I can manage. Alright, so I'm now in chiral territory, and things are going to be very complicated. Um, I gotta find where this place is going right to be. Here, right here, right here. Don't shout it out, Sam. Okay, so somewhere in this area, they are holding up um, a bunch of sticky guns. I need to retrieve a bunch of sticky, sticky guns. So... I need to collect and retrieve somewhere in this giant vicinity. Let's go ahead and hit our scanner real quick. I'm not seeing anything there. How about over here? Nothing. Nothing's being picked up on my scanner so far. So, I'm guessing the only place that makes the most sense to me is it's somewhere in that encampment. And that means I gotta go straight into enemy territory. So, good luck going. Alright. Let's give it a shot.
Alright, so I weasel my way all the way behind enemy lines. So, what we're going to do is that I'm going to detach my cargo in a moment here. And when I do, um, I'm going to re-equip my skeleton, my speed skeleton. My plan is to boogie straight in and try to steal that equipment as fast and as quickly as I can. Um, not only that, I'm going to rearrange the equipment that I'm carrying because I'm just going to load it on my back and then boogie back on here, unload it onto my uh, carrier, and then we're going to run as fast as we can. Um, I'm only going to have so much time available to me. So hopefully this will go smoothly, and hopefully I can carry all of it on my back on one on one trip. Um, let's go ahead and load that onto the carrier while I'm at it. Biggest thing, though, is to get get this done quickly and get it done quietly and very fast. By the time they realize that I'm gone or that their stuff is gone or that I'm here, I need to be out of here. Now the question is, where is it at? I can see one of the sticky guns on that guy. The one one's carrying it. Another one's another guy's carrying it as well. Let's see, another guy is carrying it as well. I'm gonna have to take down many of these guys. There's no other way around it. Nope. Let's start start doing some takedowns. And the last three are on that truck. That's wonderful. All right. Okay. The truck is still wandering around. In the meantime, I do want to get that truck's attention so that way I can get it to come towards me. Then I can get those last guys. Alright, these two guys are down. They're down quietly. Knock him out. Hey, they know I'm here. They just don't know where I'm at yet. Knock him out. Get out on my back. Where's the next three? Next one's over here. And there's a memory chip over here too while I'm at it. Come back for that if I got time. If I got time. Okay, right, memory chip acquired. Oh, I just got spotted, but I dropped him quick enough. Wasn't able to call for help, knock him out. All right, now last is the truck. Dropped him quickly enough. He's carrying metal. Where did that truck go? Go ahead and uh, check through this post box while I'm at it. See if there's anything of value that I can immediately carry on me. A uh, stun box and a ladder. I can take both of those. That, those will come in handy. A lot of special alloy here. I may as well equip it. A lot. I uh, know I really can't equip that. What am I talking about? I'm not carrying a power armor. So we'll offload these. Would be nice to carry them, but... I'm fine without them. What I need, though, is those last three pieces of equipment. I don't know where they went. I might grab that other bola gun, though. Let's 
special alloy, bullet gun. I'll probably need more after this. There they are. They're coming this way. I'll need one of my bullet gun ready. Here they are. They should be curious enough to check out the knocked out bodies. In which case, I can probably get them all in one stun bomb. Yeah, they can see the bodies. There's a rainbow over there. That means there's going to be a rain up ahead. And toss that one. Okay, my position's blown. Yeah, I got them all, right? I got all three of them. Your footing. Rat man. Get your footing, Sam! What the hell is your problem, dude? Crap, this guy just stole this thing from me. The other piece of package I need. This one. Yeah, try that again. Got the other stun gun. That's all six of them. Come on! Get your footing! Alright. Need my container spray. I'm not letting you guys steal my stuff. Alright. Time to take off. Oh no, my power's depleted. Alright, this is not good. Lucky for me, I got, a, I got a vehicle. Let's take the vehicle over to the uh, other supplies I got over here. Pack that in. This truck. And then from there we take off. Go ahead and just drop everything I got in here. I may as well do the same thing with uh, all this. I'll just pack everything I got on this carrier on my back and drop it right into the truck. They know I'm here now. Time to take off. Time to boogie. Let's mosey on out of here. Quickly enough. I should be able to put quite a bit of distance between me and them now. And most of their manpower is down over at the... Uh, uh, over at the encampment and those that are left too far away not a lot of battery power left in this truck but I can manage Woo! that improvisation man that improvisation I had to think on the fly when it comes to getting back all that power because I was I ran out of power with my power suit and I just didn't know what to do for a minute if that truck was not available I probably would have gotten out of that without any more I know those guys hassling me more all right, let's drop off what we got here, and uh, we'll finish our drop-offs over at the lake, or uh, Port Lake City, I think it is. Okay. 
Alright, so all that stuff is now completed. We were able to drop off the side mission. I was able to unburden myself quite a bit of what I was carrying, and I just swapped out for our bike again. And hopefully this time, I won't destroy it like I did last time, or at least get it stranded in the middle of a ravine. But considering that I'm going to be taking the freeway, I don't think it should be a problem. So we'll make our way all the way back to Lake Knot City and uh, go forward from there. The people down in South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. They've not been receiving supplies regularly either. No one's starving, not yet, but a sense of unease is spreading across the city. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. You'll also be carrying seeds, earthworm and insect protein paste, Whoa. organic chemicals, and anti-VT weapons laced with your blood. None of which can be sent by a Cairo printer. A delivery will remind the citizens they're connected to the rest of the country. It will give them hope. And if you can get them connected to the Cairo network, all the better. Something's been nagging at me, though. Fragile checked in a little while ago, saying that due to some instability with the beach, she was having trouble making jumps. Until things settle down, she won't be able to help. I can't her use her for fast travel. Fragile's at the distro center south of Lake Knot if you want to hear the rest of the story. I marked a location on your map. Be sure to take a look. Okay. By the way, chiral density appears to be increasing across the board. We're currently looking into what kind of impact this might have on Cupid functionality. No need for you to worry about all that, though. Just keep on doing what you do best, huh? Absolutely. Go ahead and do this delivery real quick. Before I do that, though, um, let's go ahead and move one of my uh, bikes into the garage. I'm gonna knock you right into the garage. Store you right there. You're in bad shape, buddy. You're in real bad shape. And then uh, the other bike is still here. That's got all my supplies. May as well uh, deliver the requested cargo and see where it goes from here. So after this, I gotta make my way to the other city, uh, and going forward from there, I should be able to drop off a bunch of supplies for them. The weapons you've recovered are something the techs have been calling sticky guns. Anyway, none of this is on you. We should have kept a closer eye on them in the first place. Let's check the cargo. Great. Most of them are accounted for. Thanks to you, we've kept the damage to a minimum. Okay. Well, that's taken care of. However, the sticky guns, um, I haven't really figured out an exact use for them, but I didn't really attempt to try to figure them out. I'm sure I'll get a chance to figure it out later. I know it's supposed to be a like, very creative weapon, but nothing's coming to mind right now. Okay, emergencies, uh, provision delivery down to South Knot City. That is a long way to go. I have to go through so much trouble to get all the way down there. This is going to be a long hike, guys. The people down in South Knot City have had to suffer through a lot of terrorist attacks lately. We need you to bring them as much as you can of whatever you can. Food, oxytocin, the essentials. None of which can be sent Yeah, I think we've already heard this. Printer. He was just telling us this, this exactly this just a little while ago. So let's go ahead and get this loaded up. Additionally, um, we will load this on to this bike. Yeah, everything's loaded onto the bike. My power skeleton, or my speed skeleton's taking quite a beating. I'm gonna need 
some... I'm going to need something to even it out a little bit here. Anchor gun. Bola gun. Matic grenades. Really any of those things are really what I need. What I need is a, a repair kit. Uh, and repair the Money container. That's Money new. That's different. Order. Please stand by until the problem can be rectified. Oh, hi, uh, Sam Bridges, I presume. <laughs> Sorry about that. The uh, system seems to be on the fritz. Uh, one of the packages wasn't processed properly and got left out of the order. It says here the client is fragile herself. Some this is actually the first time I've actually seen one of the guys outside and not working with the automated systems. Bridges. Anywho, really sorry for the hold up and uh, careful. The contents are fragile. He's being really suspicious. Okay. He's really suspicious. Wait a minute. Was that Troy Baker? Was that Troy Baker? Small thermal nuclear weapon. Are you fucking kidding me? What am I carrying a thermal nuclear weapon for? A small scale nuclear bomb. Its countdown timer will start as soon as it's separated from Sam and it will detonate when the counter reaches zero. In when it enters South Knot City, Fragile needs to take a look at this. Why am I carrying this on me? What am I Okay, attach it to my suit. Uh put it on Put on my uh, right shoulder, so that way I have a clear line of sight on it. What the f fuck am I carrying this thing for? Dude, say something to someone. You know it's a thermonuclear weapon. I know it's a thermonuclear weapon. You're carrying a thermonuclear weapon on the right shoulder of your body. What are you doing? Oh my god. Uh, okay. It says, I gotta drop this off to Fragile over in the distribution center. So, okay. I'm guessing that, oh crap. Wrong bike. Um, I'm guessing I gotta bring this, all this stuff over to Fragile first. So, we're making our way quickly to Fragile, as fast as we can, as a matter of fact. Alright, now that we made it back to the Distro Center, let's see what the hell is going on with this damn nuclear weapon. I'm not gonna lie, holding this thing on my arm the whole ride is making me really, really anxious. I'm not sure how I feel about it, honestly. I know how I should feel about it, but I don't like it. Um, let's go ahead and rest in the private room real quick. I'd imagine I gotta like go in the private room, that's how I interact with Fragile, probably. Uh, maybe not. Maybe did I, did I just waste my time? Okay. I thought I was supposed to come here though with Hi, the box. Uh, Sam Bridges, I oh. presume. Says here the client is fragile herself. Careful, the contents are fragile. Did you get a good look at his eyes? Put it together. Eggs. Yeah, he put it together oh, while he was sleeping. Wrong? Fragile, son of a bitch, it was him. What are you talking about? The package I picked up for you, the one from Lake Knot. Hold on, I wasn't expecting any package. He said Fragile herself was the client. The system was down, so some Bridges delivery guy had to hand it over in person. Who? Look, the point is, it was Higgs. Come on, I need to see it now. What is going on? 
Oh, is he doing it again to her? Where she carried a nuclear bomb into his city? Is he trying to get her to do it again? And tricked her? It's already, it's activated now. The moment she opened it. Not again. That bastard can do this to me again. The timer's already started. I can't stop it. We only have one option. Sam, we've got to get rid of it. Take it down to the crater and next to South Knot. It's a tar pit. Damn near bottomless. If we chuck it in there, we just might have a chance. Oh, God. How much time do I even got on this thing? It can't be much. 23 minutes? Actually, it's plenty of time. Oh, God. Alright. Just... Just fucking get rid of it, man. Where's my bike? Oh, my God. And I have to get through all that terrain that's not friendly to the bike. I've added the location of the crater lake to your map. Get the nuke there ASAP and dispose of it. Oh shit. I, got, I guess I gotta chuck it in there, don't I? Let's get this thing fully juiced before I go. Alright. So, the train I'm gonna be driving across is not vehicle friendly whatsoever. This is going to get really tricky. I might actually have to hike it. Alright. Let's hug the side of the building. Let's hug the side of the mountainside. I gotta hope to God I don't get stopped or slowed down by mules. If they know it's good for them, they won't fuck with me at all. And let me just deliver this shit. Of course, who am I kidding? Of course they're going to slow me down. Come on, come on, come on. The train here is so uneven. Luckily I was able to stop that scanner from picking me up. Alright. Not only that, but this thing must be super fragile too. If I do one misstep and it does damage to this thing on my shoulder, it's game over for me. I'm not even sure if this bike can even handle the ride all the way. I'm also carrying supplies for South Knot City here too. Give me a break. How far away am I? I can't even tell because it's so it's such rough terrain here. Don't damage the package. Don't damage the package. Don't damage the package. Please don't damage the package. Please don't damage the package. Please. Alright, so far so good. Put some distance. Gain some distance, I mean. Should be like over the hill, right? Just over this mountain. Thank God I'm not running into BTs too. There it is. There's the lake. Let's get down to the lake. Oh man, how did I get so lucky? I didn't run into any BTs or mules. I just got straight here. Guarantee it, like. I don't think I could have gotten this lucky. Sam, you're at the lake, aren't you? Hurry up and get rid of that goddamn nuke. Where is it? Cargo. Uh, it should be on my right shoulder, right? Thermonuclear bomb. Here by hand. Let's carry it in the right hand. All right. Let's chuck this shit. Is that it? Uh, it may be in a tar pit, but get the fuck out of there. Start running. Oh my god. I 
I'm not sure if that really would happen, to be honest, but... <laughs> wow. Just wow. You know, if they didn't have that tar lake there, they would have nowhere to get rid of this thing. Probably their best bet is to drop it in the crater. Jesus, that was close. You saved the city and everyone in it. I love a lot more than I ever did. Maybe there's no way of saving Metal Knot. But South Knot's still here. Because of me. And you. She must feel so much guilt losing middle knot the way that she did manipulated into destroying an entire city carrying the package herself what happened to you By the time I realized what Higgs was planning, the nuke was already at the city gates. Oh, is this how she loses I her skin? I delivery truck and somehow managed to carry the bomb to safety. But Higgs had been on to me from the start. He caught me red-handed outside the gates, nuke still cradled in my arms like a child. So, as punishment, he strips me down to nothing, and then he makes it rain. He can make it rain. Whoa! He's got some crazy powers. Holy smokes! Listen up, I got a proposition for you. Do you want to live out your days as damaged goods? Or would you rather take damage for the goods? Get to the point. All right. If all you want is to save yourself, you just have to jump. However, if you want to see this altruistic streak of yours through, then you'll have to carry my nuke to the bottomless pit and toss it in. Oh, sure, you'll be the city's savior. But you will have to walk naked through time fall to do it. Trade a lot of your time for a little bit of the city's? <laughs> Hell, seems like a fair exchange to me. What a crazy looking character design. That golden mask and... The way it fits in with his design is so cool. And he can teleport just like she can. The truth is, I don't much care for my face. That's why I hide it. Oh, but you. Oh, you just love yours, don't you? I bet Daddy was real proud. Oh, my God. Ooh, that was freaky. A little weird. Now don't worry. I won't mess it up. See, I want your face to be a kind of testament. Oh, he's trying to send a message. Why did you do it? Why did you betray me? Because I found someone who completes me. Someone who doesn't need me to wear a mask. Word to the wise. Even if you do save South Knot, 
You'll always be the nut job who blew up Middle Knock. Oh, and that pretty face of yours will always be remembered as the face of a terrorist. They'll never stop hunting you. Believe me, I know. Oh, they can slap a sticker on you, but you're still gonna break in transit. Oh. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm? I'll take the damage and the goods. Don't break that easy. <laughs> yeah, well, good luck with that. Oh my god, I can't imagine the mental damage this is gonna do to her. And she can't jump now without the umbrella. She can't navigate her beach. I mean, people already think of her as a terrorist already for failing to save uh, Middle Knot City since she brought the nuclear bomb inside Middle Knot. Now she's trying to stop it from happening in South Knot, but it's going to cost her her time. How's she even going to carry that thing to the tar pit from there? She has such a long run ahead of her. Doing it on bare feet, too. Her feet must have been blistering and bleeding by the time she got there. And the aging and the rough terrain. Those are her real tears. Those are not chiral tears at all. Again, that mental damage. Well, there it is. You are a goddamn hero. He did the right thing. And this belongs to you. I'm no hero, Sam. That choice I made? I've regretted it ever since. All I had to do was jump, and I could have saved myself. She didn't... Looking instead, back on it, she wished she had saved, saved herself the city. instead of the shitty. And more than that, or the shitty, hope. the city. She well, rather would have saved herself than instead of the city. Left for me to save. I'm gonna make Heats regret he ever crossed me. By killing him. Can't. He's way more powerful now than he was before. How? How did he get all this power? But you could take him. You could. But promise me. Promise me you'll leave him alive. There's something I want to ask him to his face. I didn't think you were capable of torture. I am now. And I want to know why he betrayed me. A little crypto buyout. Do you want it? Wow, this is the first time we've actually ever seen him take a crypto bio and eat it after she offers it up. I guess that's probably like symbolic of the cooperation between the two of them finally. Ugh. Yuck! Sam, don't forget about the supply run to South Knot City. Yeah, how could I forget? I'm carrying a huge portion of that on me right now. I think I've only got halfway there at this point, am I? Take a look at the map. 
Outstanding, Sam. Now let's get your cargo to South Knot City and put those people on the network. About 500. A little closer. I'm actually much closer than I thought. May as well finish the rest of the ride there. Oops. Don't drive into the tar pit. That would be a big mistake. Alright. Well, let's finish the rest of the ride here. And BB's laughing. He's enjoying this. This is a perfect time to play music like this. It really is. You, you got this really heartbreaking scene in the revelation of what Fragile has really sacrificed, how much he's sacrificed. And in many ways, she regrets that sacrifice. She feels totally different about it. Yeah, she did save these people. But looking back on it, she cho she wished she had chosen differently. Again, that mental damage, that that stress that must come with it. I can't imagine what that would do to someone. And a part of her a part of her has died in a way, you know. She probably was never capable of torture, but she's willing to do it now to Higgs. Because she has changed. It's made her less. She's less whole. Well, Best thing we can do now is just deliver these supplies to these folks here. We got all nine emergency provisions now. Wow! Just that that scene and her crying like that. Great to see you, man. You don't know how much we've been looking forward to this. A lot of people hurting here. Gotta start with those who need it most. Given this quantity. Everyone ought to get a share. We should be able to get them off on the chiral network and then they're connected with everyone else. As we get them connected, then we'll have more side missions, then we'll probably get new access to new materials and new equipment that I'll be able to use now that I'm connected with these guys. Ooh, a bunch of that material got destroyed. None of the metal material even made it from the uh, the bot cargo. That's kind of disappointing. So is it true the chiral network is finally becoming a reality? I can't believe it. I really can't. Feels like a dream almost. If it's not a dream, yeah, we want to be part of it. All right, let's get you guys connected. Got a new strand established. South Knot City has now joined the UCA and got a handgun, an assault rifle, a grenade, and new interviews revolving the situation after the first, de first death stranding incident and no blue in the in inverted uh, rainbow. Okay. Definitely something to look up. I don't think we could have survived without outside assistance. Chiral network could make a huge difference. Owen Southwell. Make repairs more manageable. It could help us finally get back on our feet. You've given us a gift more precious than you know. When we lost Middle Knot City, it felt like there'd be no end to the violence. I woke up every day thinking it might be our last. Yet, here we are. By the grace. Yeah, well, let's just say I don't believe in miracles or luck. Hell no. 
I believe in people. And it was people that saved us. Just like you did today. Now it's our turn to pick up the pieces and do the same for others. I'm, I'm sorry. I gotta get this to everyone. We really appreciate it. No problem. Good work, Sam. I'll see that your supplies are ready and waiting. I suppose I don't need to tell you to take care when you come fetch them. Ooh. Okay. And here's my firearms I'm getting access to. The fact that it's giving me a handgun, an assault rifle, and a grenade tells me there's going to be enemies coming up here. There's going to be a boss fight coming up here. So I got to prepare myself. Um, now, what that could mean, I don't entirely know. So let's load this on here. I might need the sticky gun, maybe. I don't know for certain. Um, although, it's giving me, like, net lethal weapons, which I'm a little surprised about. Go ahead and bite up the cargo a little bit. Matter of fact, I might, I might need speed if I need anything. As opposed to uh, power. So if I, because if I, if I'm dealing with the boss fight here, I'm gonna need to be quick. I doubt I'll need the floater. I doubt I'll need the sticky gun. I doubt I'll need the, uh, the skeleton. I got the bullet gun in case I need to go non-lethal. Plenty of rounds. Uh, firearm, handgun, container spray, and uh, yeah, anti BT or uh, uh, anti BT handgun. So, I think I've covered a wide range of issues. Uh, plenty of different kinds of grenades. So, I think I'm good. I got a feeling there's got to be a boss fight coming up here. There's no way they just give me a firearm for no reason whatsoever. Thanks, Sam. You've saved South Knot City and brought our people even closer together. You're halfway there. Halfway to making us whole again. Listen. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, of course. Whatever she's got to tell me, it's got to get held off now. Tyro Network got shut down. Sam, Amelie's connection just dropped. We've been rooting her calls through the old system. Must be a problem with the lines. I'll look into it. Let's just hope it's nothing more serious. Yeah, her network was gold, Sam, as opposed to the blue. Iris what was Mike. that about? Right in your vicinity. Oh. These numbers are off the charts. This might explain the sudden service interruption. Whatever's causing it could pose a threat to the non cities. Get out there and investigate. Okay. Definitely boss fight. Most definitely. Something's right outside and waiting for me. Take a look outside. Well, before we do that, let's take a look at my. Let's. Um, let's take a rest. I want to save the game. Not only that, uh, I, I think my stamina might could use a little bit of work here. Get my character back up and running. Take a little break. <laughs>